I, I'm going to just I, I, let's just say it. I understand he works for Fox Sports. I understand he makes a ton of money. I think it's disgraceful what Skip Bayless has done. Okay, welcome to another MVP podcast. My name is Dale, and let's get into it. All right, so today's show, again, is unfortunately about Skip Bayless, all right? Um, And it's about Doug Gottlieb, all right, ripping into Skip Bayless, all right, over his Twitter post. Um, And it's also proof that Skip lied about um, nobody else being upset about his post, all right, at Fox Sports. All right, when um, there are actually a bunch of people. Let's take a look. I, I'm going to just, I, I, let's just say it. I understand he works for Fox Sports. I understand he makes a ton of money. I think it's disgraceful what Skip Bayless has done. You can't normalize this behavior, right? This, this is the, it's a lot like the Trump conversation. Like, you can tell me whatever you want about his politics, but the way in which he would speak to people, treat people, handle sensitive information was not that of the President of the United States. Period. Stop. There is no argument otherwise. None. Everyone knows it. It's unacceptable behavior. The same on a very different and lesser level is true of Skip. In what world does he think no one had a problem with it? When the person sitting across the desk from him clearly had a problem so first skips foolish if he didn't he the the uh, i don't i don't pay attention i don't that's they his camp his group twitter searches his name on a daily basis how do i know because we talked about something he and shannon said okay this is a real thing okay because i've reached the i don't give a moment of my time here at Fox Sports Radio. Okay. We talked about um, people discussing the Warriors being better without Kevin Durant. The Warriors better without Kevin Durant. And it was talked about time and uh, like, yeah, you're better without Kevin Durant. And I just said, like, the idiocy of this has to stop. We had played Skip's sound of saying it, but I did not direct any commentary about Skip personally. It was the idea that this is a a narrative that we hear on radio, we see on TV, where people will go like, hey, the Warriors win. Maybe they're better without Kevin Durant. No, they're not. So we have a guy, we'll name him, who, it's not Elijah, who works in, I think, New York, And his job is taking the clips from radio, packaging them, and then putting them out on social media. And what he put on social media was was just that, that we need to stop the idiocy. But he had a picture of Skip. So they Twitter searched Skip, and they're like, Gottlieb's talking about Skip. You know, you need to take this down. You're like, okay, first of all, he made the comment. He has an opinion. I'm allowed to have an opinion about that opinion. It wasn't in any way personal about it. The only limits I've ever been told is if you make it, do not make it personal. Okay. You know, but the reason they were, I was like, well, why, why are we so protective of Skip Bayless? He's, he has made this portion of his career based upon his opinions. And I vehemently disagree with that opinion, but I didn't even say his name. What I said, I said the idiocy of this, Narrative. So this is me calling bull on the no one had a problem. I don't know. Are you kidding me? Yesterday you went on TV and said and basic and, and did a 180 on LeBron James. And you want to act like you want to act like nobody was affected, dude. I was born at night, not last night. Get the f- out of here. No matter what you put in that last sentence, the first three sentences lack empathy. Kids laying there fighting for his life. And you're like concerned about playoff seedings? Get the f*** out of here. Have a heart. That's what you're supposed to do. That's the the beauty of that show. That's the organic nature of it. I I don't know whether to be embarrassed, appalled, or simply chuckle because that's what you get when you 
let guys leave guys their own devices and you offer no kind of leadership from above on what they can and can't say do and don't do okay so you can see how pissed off all right um gottlieb is in that clip all right um and if he's pissed off that definitely means that there's a bunch of other people there who are pissed off or else he wouldn't be saying it and that definitely means that shannon sharp all right was probably pissed off as well all right which means like i said in the last video all right that skip is probably um you know walking on eggshells right now because you know there's a groundswell building up right now and he doesn't have many supporters all right at fox sports okay so maybe the next thing that he does all right might just be the straw that breaks the camel's back back all right so he has to watch out you know what's going on and um, I know Shannon doesn't really care, all right? Um, you know, some people are postulating, right, that, um, you know, Shannon is the one who's creating this whole situation so he can get power, you know, or, you know, can take the show over for himself or get his own show or so. But um, apparently Shannon, you know, he has, he's okay, all right? He can leave the show. He can go do some, some other thing and he'll still be good. So at this point, you know, he doesn't really, it doesn't really bother him, you know, about what's going on. But... There's people at Fox Sports, like Gottlieb here, um, you know, we're probably pushing for um, Skip to, um, to to be gone, all right? And that's probably why he posted this, okay? Um, like he says in the video, he's at the point where he doesn't care anymore, all right? And he has not been penalized for making these comments that were made on Fox Sports Network. So that simply means that the guys up top don't care that he made these comments. All right, but Skip had to go on the show and clarify or um, apologize, or whatever. he had to he had to go on the show and say something, and he was forced to do it. All right, so that simply that simply means that people care about what Skip tweeted. Okay, this they don't care about it. They don't care about Shannon. Shannon didn't have to go on say anything or whatever you know about what he said on on the show neither even though he called out you know the you know the network all right um so so this puts um skip in a position all right where you know he's really his back is against the wall and it's clear all right so um so we'll see what happens in the future with with skip shannon and even with gottlieb you know and other others who may might come out you know but um i don't know if skip is going to do anything more uh, maybe he's, you know, he realizes that, you know, this is like close to the end. So he's just going to keep calm now. So he doesn't, you know, put another strike beside his name. Okay. So, um, so that's it. So that's it. Um, next show will probably be tomorrow, the day after. So that's about it. So until next time.